Hey, this is Chris. I'm the founder and CEO of Stockspot, which is Australia's largest online investment advisor. And in this video, I'm going to be answering a very common question we get from new clients who come to us, which is, what is the best way to invest $100,000? And I'd like to start by saying, I think there's a common misconception in the investment industry. And that misconception is that people with bigger amounts of money, whether it's 100,000, a million or 10 million, need to fundamentally be investing in a different way to people getting started with $2,000. And the reason this is a misconception is that there is a ton of evidence that the best investment strategy, the one most likely to get you a great result from a risk versus return perspective is the same, regardless of whether you're investing 10,000, 10 million or $10 billion. However, the whole investment industry is designed to make you think if you have more money, you need more complexity. You need to see an advisor who can offer funky strategies like hedge funds and alternatives and private credit. Um, these are all wonderful strategies for the investment industry to make fees. But for you as the end investor, there's very little evidence that adding extra complexity and cost to your investments actually adds any value whatsoever. And there are plenty of studies that show this. Um, the SPIVA S&P study, which is done every year around the world, shows this time and time again, that paying for active management to, to complicate your portfolio doesn't actually help. And 80 to 90% of them underperform. There's also the Dalbar study that shows that trying to time the market and work out when to be in and out or paying professionals to do that doesn't add any value. It actually subtracts value. And there's tons of other studies I could name, um, including one from the Pensions Institute, which is one of my favorites that shows this. So why do people believe that they need to add complexity to their portfolio? Well, I think there's a few reasons. If you're an individual investor, it's nice to think that if you have more money, you get special treatment. And I think a lot of people do appreciate that special treatment. Going into a fancy financial advisor office, you know, having that cup of coffee offered to you, making you feel special and, you know, showing all of the special, unique, exclusive investments that they can offer for you. Unfortunately, a lot of this is just smoke and mirrors. And we've seen it time and time again at Stockspot where clients come to us after being put through that charade when they realize a year or two later that actually that advisor, through all of those complex strategies, all of those exclusive investments, the IPOs, the access to private funds that no one else has access to, don't actually add any value whatsoever. Um, not at least to the investor, they do add a lot of value to the financial advisor because they're creaming you for fees and that's money that should be going into your growth and your wealth, but instead is ending up in the financial industry. And this is one of the key reasons why I started Stockspot because I see this happen time and time again. You know, my parents' generation and other friends who have grown wealth over time, they face the problem of speaking to an industry who's trying to con them into investing that money into ways that don't need to be touched. And so our philosophy at Stockspot is actually, if you've got $100,000, the way you should invest it is the same simple and proven strategy that you should invest a smaller amount or an even larger amount, which is to diversify that money, which means spread it out across a whole bunch of different countries, sectors, industries, and asset classes to make sure your money is spread out widely because no one can really predict which is going to do best next year or the year after to keep your fees as low as possible because every dollar that you keep in your pocket is a dollar that's not going into the finance industry and to really focus on managing your own behavior. Because once you've got the first two right, good diversification and low cost the biggest problem that's likely to trip up your investment strategy is you jumping at shadows, whether it's being worried when markets fall or getting too excited by sexy investments when you see them uh, written in the newspapers. All of these are likely to lead you down the wrong path. And actually, if you can sit on your hands and do nothing, the evidence shows this is going to give you the best chance of success. So the strategy we would recommend to invest $100,000 would really be to diversify across a range of different low cost exchange traded funds, which is what we specialize at its stock spot. Um, we would invest across local Australian shares, global and emerging market shares, bonds and gold. This gives you access to different types of asset classes that do well in different environments, high inflation, low inflation, high and low growth, economic prosperity, you know, poor economic conditions, and it gives you a smooth ride over the long run to growing your wealth compared to trying to pick which stocks or markets or sectors or fund managers are going to do well in the future because there's no way that you can actually consistently do that. 
as the evidence shows time and time again. So keep it simple, keep it low cost, keep it diversified and focus on discipline of doing nothing because unlike other areas of life, when it comes to investing, the less you do, the more you earn. And that really is a, a, a universal truth regardless of how much you're investing. If you like this video and are interested in more content about investing and exchange traded funds and personal finance, you can follow me and you'll be able to see more videos that I put out.